uh, a little bit of, uh, from a conditioning standpoint, a little bit of what uh, I thought might happen. Uh, you know, not quite up to speed from a standpoint of his reactions and things like that because of the fact that, you know, uh, he, he had had the uh, off, off, off season uh, surgery or spring or whatever. And then, uh, but he little by little, he's, he's coming back uh, up to speed. And uh, I mean, he, he really is a true freshman when it comes to the defense because of the fact that he really only played. Um, you know, on a regular basis, really towards the, I mean, in practice, probably about the last three or four weeks, and then only played uh, what was supposed to be sparingly in that UCLA game. So uh, he, he's, he's doing well, you know, from uh, an assignment standpoint, for the most part with the basics. But then as we progress, uh, you know, he had something that was pretty simple last night that was, you know, he's supposed to be inside of two, outside of three, and said he's outside of two and inside of one. So, you know, things like that. But uh, as long as he continues to work at it, you know, he will, uh, he, he will be all right. And uh, we need him. We need him back there. We haven't yet. That'll come uh, here in the, uh, oh, come tomorrow. Come think. It's either tomorrow or Saturday, one or the other. It won't be Sunday, I know that. Another hot day for you guys. Uh, do you know it's taking its toll on anybody out there? I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think it's, all that stuff is good. You know, rain, sleet, snow, heat, humidity, whatever. Because, uh, you know, if you're weak-minded, you know, then you're probably not going to be very good anyhow. So somehow, somewhere, and we don't have to like it, you, you know, you, you've got to be able to play through it. It's just one of those things. Whenever you're playing against another opponent, the other opponent's going through the same thing. Obviously, we don't want anything uh, health-wise to happen, you know, from a dehydration standpoint or, or heat prostration or anything like that. But... Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it kind of feels good to freely, you know, perspire, you know, and uh, I'd trade that in for 17 below with, with a wind chill factor and all that stuff. But, uh, hey, you know, a guy seen you know, all right. I think the guys are the ones to ask. It's, it's no big deal for me. I felt good. One of your defensive backs said the defense got the better of the offense again today. Is that accurate? Well, I think whoever that defensive player she should shut up and uh, not say anything and, and uh, say it in – private if he wants to but don't believe it you know it's like one of those things you, you, you know be you put it in your mouth if you if you taste it it's one thing if you swallow it you'll probably die from it so uh, uh, it, it's good to you know know that you probably had maybe maybe you, you had a good day I don't know I, I never look at things like that too much but I'm glad you told me that because I'm gonna jot it down right after this and make sure that uh, uh, and if you have got a name I can use that but but uh, no you know you, you, you can't worry about that stuff because as soon as you're up, somebody's going to lay the wood to you and you're going to be down. So all those things, right? That's good stuff, right? I mean, you worry the weather, uh, up, down, ahead. I got the best, you know, just if, if you think that, then make sure you, you keep the foot down and, and don't let it up off the ground, you know? Is Michael Rosati and uh, Charles Jackson their status? Uh, injured players we don't talk about. You know that. Um, um, Michael, you know, uh, it, you know, a little, little tweak, not, nothing major, I don't think. The uh, important thing is that he's turned in all his work today, school-wise. He should graduate on, uh, where's our uh, sports information director? Saturday, supposed to graduate on Saturday. That'll be awesome. Uh, uh, Charles Jackson, uh, you know, I think uh, historically he's had some, you know, leg issues and things like that. I think this one is just, you know, just a little bit of a sprain, you know, that, that type of thing. But uh, they'll be all right. How's your, how your defensive line? I know it's so young, so many different spots. How's it coming together so far for a week? Well, I tell you what, right now, I mean, from, from practice to practice, we've done a lot of installation, and they've listened in the meeting, and they've gone out and, you know, in the walkthroughs, you know, the assignment, you know, pretty good, I'd say. I don't say assignment perfect. We had... Uh, Oh, probably uh, that one day that we had all the zone pressures put in, and I think we ran 48 snaps in the walkthrough. We had two defensive linemen go the wrong way, and, and that was it. Now, it's still at a slow pace, and guys, you know, you no, know, it shouldn't happen, but, you know, not bad from that standpoint. Because this time in the spring, whoo, it, was, uh, it looked like Mo, Larry, and Curly, but right now it's, it's been pretty good. How do you balance, you know, 
be as good as they can be, but also being realistic and knowing that as good as they might be in game one, they're probably going to be better in game ten. So, like, how do you how do you measure patience with also wanting to just get them as good as they can be? Like I said uh, earlier on, uh, when somebody asked me about the D line. I think it's if, if you're going to have a place where guys are going to be quote unquote young, that's the place to be. Um, you, you just hope, you know, hey, see ball, get off on the ball, and, you know, and uh, get in your gap. You know, really, that's what it comes down to. And then, uh, and then go play the, you know, the run on the way back to the quarterback. But just, you know, if we've got to keep it simple for certain guys, I think that's John's biggest challenge right now. And our biggest challenge is the fact that. You know, what you say in the meeting room, who are you talking to? You know, are you talking to that, you know, a young guy that hasn't played a game or you're talking to a guy that's been here for five years that has played, you know, in multiple games. So you've got to watch who you're talking to and, and how you approach practice and even, you know, teach things. You, generalities, okay, and then once, once you get specific, you know, you got to go according to everybody's needs. Do you think your scheme makes it easier for you I, I don't I don't know I mean uh, you know again movement I mean last year I mean yeah you could just run into somebody if you want to do that but then you know every once in a while you know you, you got to mix a little uh, chocolate and strawberry with a you know with a with a vanilla or something and, and uh, uh, that's what got us in trouble last year you know everybody oh it's easy see well yeah we, we try to keep things simple from a technique standpoint from a cover down standpoint and all those type of things but then you know, there's some things movement-wise that uh, uh, we try not to make it rote memorization. You know, you, you try to, you know, the, the words you use, uh, the packaging that you do, you try to keep it, you know, uh, in the same flow of things. But uh, uh, the movement part of it is, is what, you know, comes because those are the plays. The thing in practice is that we play base a lot against our offense and... When do we run our plays? That's the thing we've got to get over. We've got to find a mix so that we can run our plays while the offense runs their plays because it's one thing to do it in a walkthrough. It's another thing to do it against scout team. But it's another thing from the sideline to make a call and go run the play because you ran this call, that call, this call. So you've got to be able to be able to do that. So going back to what you said, is it easier? N not, not any easier than anything else, no. I, when you present things and you teach them, you try to make it so that it seems simplistic and then you build one block on top of the other. You know, we try to do that, that's for sure. In what ways have you seen Marcus Newby grow as an all-around linebacker since the day you first started? Oh, I mean, the expectation in listening to people talk who were around the program before and what we could expect out of them, I mean, I thought we were going to be able to maybe do one thing with everybody right away. You know, hey, just he was a rush end, just use him as a rush end. But that, we weren't afforded that for one thing, so that was a good thing. So he had a play. Trent's done a tremendous job uh, as a teacher with Marcus. Marcus has done a great job as a uh, athlete and a student of the game to listen and take the coaching. And uh, um, he's just grown. You know, the mistakes would be uh, minimized. He, he understands the game a, a lot better. Uh, maybe it's the simplicity, you know, of, of what we're doing. I don't know. Uh, as far as how we try to stack, you know, uh, principles and concepts on one another. But he's done a great – he's worked hard to, to uh, get himself in the position right now as a, as a front-line linebacker. So back to the defensive line. So when you said, you know, see the ball, get in your gap – off the ball. Who's doing that well right now? Who's doing it well right now? Yeah. I think uh, I think the majority of them. I mean, our get off is much better. There, there are guys that aren't in some cases, but they don't count. They just need to. They get into a tendency of sometimes flat stepping and reacting to what they see in the front. What we want to do is we want to get two feet in the ground and then go amongst our progression as far as block protection is concerned. But as a whole, that we've done better than we did in the spring. Are you getting the kind of pass rush that you want? We're not. The quarterbacks are not live. We're not live. I think one on ones have been uh, okay. They've been pretty good. I think John's brought some concepts uh, and technique, you know, and, and they're at least they're, they're working them. Um, yesterday in a, a third down team period, uh, was it the first group? Might have been the first group. Uh, 
you know, Dezers had a nice up and under move. Somebody else later on had, had a nice deal, you know. So uh, it's coming, but until we go live and, and can see the transition, run pass, and all that stuff, you know, uh, I'm not, not, not certain right now. I'm not ready to name any names. We, sh we are supposed to scrimmage on Saturday, as far as I know. Should I have said that? You said. Yeah. Is your pass defense, uh, you know, more cohesive since you have so many of the back seven guys back? I think that uh, we know what we're, we're doing, you know, uh, a lot more. There have been a lot less bust. We didn't have a good day yesterday on third down, and we – you used three coverages. That was the first day that we used all three coverages. You know, we there was a man, there was a, a three deep zone, there was a, a quarters zone coverage, uh, and and we weren't all the techniques weren't correct. We weren't in the right spots. We weren't playing good combination coverage, you know that type of thing. But first day, we'll take it. We played a little bit today. Hopefully, it's better because we we met on it. We, uh, we uh, practiced it uh, from a standpoint of individual drills to shore things up. So, uh, and again, we'll see, you know.